Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and today I am presenting a small presentation on COBOL unstring clause. Before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Apart from that, I am really thankful to each one of you who have already subscribed to our channel. So let's begin with our today's presentation that is on COBOL unstring clause. So string manipulation is an integral part of any programming language and most of the time you have a requirement to concatenate, split or extract characters from the string. And almost all programming languages have a different set of functions to perform string manipulation. In COBOL you have various functions such as string, unstring, inspect that can be used to manipulate string as per your need. Let's look at unstring statement today and if you want to understand the string and inspect then there are two separate videos for that and the link is already given in the description. So COBOL unstring clause is generally used to split the string from a single field to multiple fields. For example, there's a name called David Murphy and there's a space in uh, between both first name and last name. So what happens is that the unstring clause will going to split this name into first name and last name that is two separate fields based on the space which is there in between the first name and last name. Now let's move on to next section where we are going to discuss uh, the unstring function in detail. Okay so let's look at the definition of unstring statement. In layman term the COBOL unstring statement is used to decouple or split string from a single field into multiple fields. You can generally use unstring function with any number of times in your COBOL program and in fact you can use this function in congestion with other COBOL functions for example reference modification. Now let's move on to the next section which is a detailed uh, description of unstring syntax. Google unstring statement syntax is fairly simple and easy to understand. There are three important points that you need to keep in mind. So first one is uh, the unstring statement start with unstring keyword and uh, you have an identifier one so here you need to pass on the actual string field that needs to be split or that needs to be decoupled into multiple uh, fields. So next point is delimited by and here you need to specify the delimiter based on which uh, the string will be split into two or three uh, depending on uh, the requirement. And I hope you remember like in the first slide we have just given an example of uh, David Murphy with a space. So here you need to just pass on space if you want to split that particular string into two fields that is first name and last name. And uh, last important parameter that you need to remember is into and here you need to pass on the fields on which you want to store the data. And last line is end unstring is actually a explicit scope terminator. If you want to use it, you can use it. Otherwise, you can use a dot or a full stop to terminate the scope. Now let's move on to the next section, which is unstring rules. The first and foremost thing that you need to uh, remember is that uh, in the delimited by phrase you can use any special character, right? It can be space, it can be uh, hyphen or it can be any, any character based on which you want to split the string. Second important point is that you need to remember that you should always initialize the destination fields, right? Third important point is that on overflow clause will only execute if there is a valid character in the source field that needs to be transferred to destination and the destination is already full. Fourth important point is that you can use a pointer option to count the number of characters that you have received. And the last point is that you can use tele option in order to see the number of fields that have received the value. Right? So now let's move on to the next section which is actually a line by line explanation of a COBOL program that is actually performing the unstring function so that you can understand how exactly you can write a COBOL program to accomplish this particular function. Okay, now let's move on to the next section. Now let's look at the sample COBOL program which is actually using a COBOL unstring uh, clause to split the string into two separate fields. So again the first section is identification division which is actually a documentation section and uh, the important parameter uh, in this section is uh, the program name so it is mandatory and you have to provide that. Uh, second section is environment division which is actually used for uh, uh, your environment related details so I've just kept it blank 
and the third section is data division where you need to define your file details and also I'm not using any files so I've again kept it blank in working storage section I have actually defined two variables first one is a group variable that includes your first name and last name and the second variable is an elementary variable that is employee F name which includes the full name and that is of x of 35 that is alphanumeric right and if you see that I've already initialized these uh, variables with spaces now let's move on to the next section that is procedure division and in procedure division uh, the first uh, paragraph is actually uh, a main uh, logic of this particular program which is actually calling uh, PRT EMP data which is a section in this program so within this section you have a paragraph called 010 move data so in this paragraph I'm actually moving Roger space Murphy to WS EMP F name so which is a complete name and I want to split this uh, name into two that is first name and last name based on the space in between these two uh, values right so then what I'm doing is I'm just using a perform to execute the unstring clause so 020 hyphen MRG hyphen data so this is basically a paragraph that is that will going to execute the unstring uh, clause so if you see uh, in this paragraph I've used unstring then WS EMP F name which is actually having your complete name delimited by spaces so I'm just using space as a point where I'll go, I want to split the string and I want to assign that split it value into first name and last name right and if you see the arrows that can clearly explain how exactly the variables have been used and if you look at the output so you have passed on Roger space Murphy and they have been split into two strings that is Roger and Murphy right now ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's presentation and uh, if you have any questions or if you have any feedback then do write that in comment section and I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel I would also request you all to visit our channel for more videos on COBOL, JCL and KICKS. Thank you so much for your support.